is my pleasure to welcome students, parents, teachers and friends of Goulburn High to the 109th Goulburn High School Presentation Ceremony. Would you please stand for the entry of the official party and remain standing for the Acknowledgement and Country and National Anthem. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land who have performed age-old ceremonies of storytelling, music, dance and celebrations and renewal. We also pay our respects to the elders past, present and emerging and acknowledge the strength, knowledge and resilience of Aboriginal people in the Goulburn area and Australia wide. Please remain standing for the national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. It is my pleasure to introduce the members of the official party for Goulburn High School's 109th presentation ceremony. Principal Mr Manning, Deputy, Principal Miss Ryan, Year Advisor Miss Murray, PDHPE teacher Miss Stevenson and PNC representative Miss Highland. I invite Mr Manning to the stage to give the principal's address for 2021. Um, afternoon all. Um, I'm delighted to uh, present uh, the principal's report for 2021. I extend a warm welcome to all uh, to celebrate, wh who's present over here to celebrate the achievements of our talented young men and women. I'm incredibly proud to represent this great school and celebrate with you the successes of our students here today. While it has been a difficult year with COVID restrictions and lockdowns, I want to thank our families at Goulburn High for their continued support and trust in the staff uh, over here at, um, at our school. Behind every price and every success are the teachers, parents, carers, family members, friends and supporters who have been with you every step of the way through the highs and lows. Today we can all sit back and feel very proud of your achievements and who you are becoming as a young man and woman. 
your story is still being written. At Goulburn High School, we are aspirational. We strive to deliver student-centered learning, which is connected, culturally located, authentic and exciting. Where all students want to be engaged, where our community willingly shares its skills, strengths and values, and where learning is at the core. This is an aspirational journey. Four students will be receiving awards today for academic excellence and other school activities. Congratulations, well deserved. Sport continues to be well supported and catered for at Goldman High School by our dedicated and hardworking PDHPE faculty and the whole school. Particularly impressive was our school competing in all the three carnivals and under very, under very challenging circumstances. I want to congratulate students who will be receiving sports awards uh, today. I want to pay tribute to um, my hardworking leadership team, uh, Deputy Principals, Mr. Yi, Ms. Ryan, and the head teachers. Thank you all for your support and guidance this year. Finally, I want to thank our hardworking um, and dedicated PNC who play such an active role in the education of our students. In particular, I want to thank uh, our president, Mrs. Renee Woodbury, who works tirelessly to support the school in every possible way. This is her last year as president of PNC, and on behalf of the whole school community, I want to thank her for everything she has done for the school. As the principal, I am committed to working collaboratively with our PNC to provide quality education to every student. In closing, I want to thank all parents, caregivers for your ongoing support for our school and look forward to continuing to build strong working partnerships focused on the students' um, success each year. I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Manning. I'll ask you to remain on stage to present the Year 9 Awards for Excellent and Achievement. The awards for the Excellent and Achievement will be announced by Year 9 Year Advisor, Ms. Murray. Before I announce the awards and the award winners today, I just want to say how proud I am of you guys and how proud I am of Year 9 with the way that they have handled um, the struggles of this year, but just in terms of being your year advisor, it's been an absolute honour. So I have the privilege today of announcing the following awards. Chinoa Beatty, first in physical education. Josh Kasser, first in drama, first in mathematics, first in geography, first in music live, first in history, equal first in visual arts, second in science, and third in English. <laughs> Michaela Cole, first in baking. If you could just hold your applause until the end, that would be fantastic. Um, Lachlan Condilius, first in physical activities, sports studies. Jacob Croker, first in technology metal, first in technology wood. Abby Dalglish, equal first visual arts, third in geography. Seth Field, first outdoor education.
Shania Heath, Equal First Child Studies, Equal First Leadership, Third History. Mary Highland, First Science, Equal First Leadership. Frey Joseph, First in Music. Melina Long, First in Photography, Video and Digital Imaging, Equal First Leadership, Second in English. Joel Mackey, first in English, second in mathematics, third in science. Alora Manning, first in food technology, equal second physical education. Jade Ottaway, first in dance. Thomas Petrie, first in information software technology. Inika Reeves, equal second physical education. Miriam Smith, first in animal management, second in geography, second history. Lucas Weibrell, Equal First Design Projects, Third Mathematics. Brock Poisel, Aurora College, Achie Academic Achievement in Mathematics. Could you congratulate all of you nine? Thank you, Ms. Murray and Mr. Manning, and congratulations, Year 9 and 2021 award winners. I now invite Ms. Stevenson to present the sports report and announce a, sp a sporting awards, which will represent present, Ms. Yeah, present by Ms. Ryan. Good afternoon, Year 9. I'm really pleased to be up here today um, and presenting our PE and Sports Awards uh, on behalf of our department. Goulburn High has always had a really strong um, and competitive and enthusiastic um, bunch of students that really do commit to their sports and it's um, an honour and a privilege to be one of the members of staff that can be involved in this stuff with you guys. Mr Manny mentioned this and I really wanted to mention it again. Um, we were so proud to have been able to deliver three carnivals to you guys under what has been very difficult circumstances. We do those days um, for you guys so that you can get there, have some fun and show your competitive prowess. And on that note, I'm going to announce our Age Champion Awards. Oh, actually, no, I'm not. First of all, I'm going to congratulate the winners of the Whitlam Shield. Now the Whitlam Shield is the um, shield that's given out to the house that has had the highest performance across a range of activities throughout the year. This year, the, team, the house that has tallied up the most points from their participation and effort at all three of our carnivals and the PBL points is Southwell. So congratulations to all of our Southwell students. I know, it's a tough one to read, but congratulations. Um, it just goes to show, though, um, the difference it makes when we have so many of you turn up on our carnival days and just get in and have a go. That's how Southwell was ma managed to um, nab that shield this year, because it had so many of you who got in and just had a go for fun. Okay, our age champions. We're going to start with swimming. Congratulations to our 14 years age champion for swimming, Nicholas Otley. And we'll hold our applause until the end. 
and Mary Highland. Our age champions for cross country, 14 years, Keely Martin. Fifteen years, Lachlan Candelius. Well done, gentlemen. And Michaela Evans. And our age champions for athletics, 14 years, Bailey Marshall. And Keely Martin, who got really quickly around the hall just then. Our 15 years age champion for athletics is Isabel Zabel. Could you please put your hands together for our age champions? The next award is our regional representative award. As you guys would know, COVID has really um, meant that our, a lot of our representative sports have taken a big hit. We were very fortunate, however, to see this particular student attend an event way back in March before COVID really set in. This particular person is an outstanding player in his field and was fortunate enough to be able to compete at the CHS tennis titles in Parramatta. Our regional rep for, you, for this group is Joshua Kassar for tennis. Thank you. Congratulations, Josh, and we're looking forward to seeing our representative sport hopefully back bigger and better next year. Thank you very much. This year, Goulburn High School students have again exceed, excelled across a number of sports at local, regional, state levels. Congratulations to our sport award recipients for 2021. I would like now I'd like to give a big thank you to our PNC for on their ongoing support to Goulburn High School. Parents and community members are an important part of our community, providing financial support, contributing to the school decisions and making and building the links between the school and home. I would like to invite PNC representative Mrs Highland to present a PNC awards for the following PNC report. Hello everyone. Most of you would know me as Mrs Highland Head Teacher of Science. Some of you, I'm guessing most of the people in this year, know that I have two children that attend Goulburn High School. Today, I am speaking to you on behalf of the PNC. I have been involved in the PNC since 2018 when my son started Year 7. For the past two years, I've had the honour of being Vice President, which has allowed me to meet with a group of amazing parents and community members to discuss ways that we can help make Goulburn High School be a centre of excellence in learning. Firstly, I would like to congratulate everyone for surviving the lockdown period. A big thank you to the teachers for putting work on Compass and providing Zoom lessons. A big congratulations to every student that tried to get some kind of learning done during that time. And also a pat on the back for every parent and caregiver that tried algebra, learnt about World War II or tackled Shakespeare. It was a tough time for us all. Over the past 12 months, the PNC has continued to oversee the running of the school canteen which has included introducing tap and go payment method 
as well as a pre-order system called Quicker. I would like to give a big thank you to all the canteen staff for being so fabulous and caring while providing healthy food for all of our students and being flexible and understanding during the lockdown period and reduced hours of term four. The PNC meet once a month to discuss ways in which we can help the school. This has included purchasing calculators for the maths faculty, sponsoring afternoon teas for the art club and robotics club, as well as giving feedback on the school reward system and other policies. Next year, the PNC will continue to sell book packs and begin to sell the school uniform. We will start selling these items in the last two weeks of school holidays. I would like to finish my speech by encouraging all parents and community members to get involved in the PNC. I really enjoy meeting with people that want the best for Goulburn High School students and want to help encourage, celebrate and support our students to achieve their best. And on behalf of the parents, caregivers and community, congratulations Year 9, we are proud of you. Thank you. The Year 9 PNC Awards go to Jade Ottaway, Nicholas Otley, Cassidy Baines. Yeah. Congratulations, Year Nine, and thank you, Miss Highland. Thanks, Miss. <laughs> the following awards are made possible through the generous support of the Goulburn High School community, both past, present. I'd like to ask the Year 9 Year Advisor, Miss Murray, to come forward and present these special awards. Dr Joseph Warburton was Dux of GHS in 1946. He had an elusive career in science and mainly in physics and atmospheric science where he was responsible for making new discoveries in the advancement of weather modification. He was the author of 115 scientific manu manuscripts published in the scientific journals in Australia, USA and Europe. The bulk of the, his career was spent in Nevada. He was educated at the University of Queensland and the University of Sydney. The recipient of the Warbrant Family Prize of Science is Mary Highland. The KJ Wilson Memorial Prize. KJ Wilson was an outstanding Goulburn High School maths teacher who was inspired inspired a love of math in those he taught. The KJ Wilson Memorial Prize for Year 9 Mathematics goes to Joel Mackay. <laughs> the Angus Taylor Award for Excellence is STEM goes to the student who shows commitment to STEM, including extracurricular STEM projects. The award goes to Mary Highland. The GHS Living the School Values Awards recognising students who give their best in all areas of their learning. Harley Herrett. <laughs> and 
and Jared Sanderson. The Young Scientist organisation provides opportunities for science-minded students to further explore their interests. The following students are recognised for their achievements in the national competition. Joshua Kasser, credit. <laughs> Mary Highland, distinction. Thank you, Ms. Murray, and congratulations to the award recipients who have worked hard to achieve these honours. <laughs> Goulburn High School's PBL program allows students to progress through a number of levels by recognising students' efforts and commitment. Our Positive Behaviour for Learning program acknowledges and rewards students who constantly demonstrate our school values, respect, responsibility and resilience. I would like to invite Miss Ryan to present students with the Goulburn High School PBL Award. The PBL Bronze Award recipients are Shinoa Bate, Joshua Kasser, Shania Heath, Mary Highland. Frey Joseph, Miriam Smith, Madison Trinder. Isabella Zibel. The following students have achieved a PBL Silver Award. Alora Manning. Ella McNally. Thank you, Ms. Ryan, and congratulations to the PBL Award recipients. This is an achievement to be proud of. Our final award for academic excellence, the student who has achieved first place in their year. I invite Mr. Manning to come forward and present the Prejudice Award. The award for excellence and ducks of year nine goes to Joshua Kasser. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Manning. Congratulations to the award winners. You are to be congratulated on your commitment and motivation. 
That brings us to the conclusion of Goulburn High School's 109th Annual Awards presentation. Congratulations to our award winners. Thank you to the families, friends and joining us online to share our success and family achievements. Please stand for the exit of the official party.